Right, so here we have another RC in power motor. This time, uh, these are the 1108, 6800 kV, and 4000 kV, these are the G series. So these were sent in by RC in Power for testing. So thanks to RC in Power for supplying me with these motors. And so they come in the standard RC in Power box. Pretty familiar with this one. They use it for most other motors. But in this one, they don't include the dense foam, just one of these uh, bubble wrap and the motor and a few of these M2 screws for mounting and for propeller. They've also sent me. 11 or 6 size motors of the same series uh, so these ones I'll be testing at a later time as well so 6800 and 4000 kV looks like they're keeping the same kVs and looks like they're trying to just encompass the whole kV range for this size so 6800 should be okay for 3S and uh, 2S and 4000 for 3S and 4S here are the motors this one's the 1108 and that's the 1106 so this I'll, I'll be reviewing at a later time but I just wanted to show you here so you can get a, a sense of how much taller these uh, 1108s are so there's the difference between the two pretty noticeable difference you know extra two millimeters on the stator so interesting size they're going taller on the stator uh, so that should make for pretty decent power I think and uh, should match well with any of the 3 inch props on 3S should be no problem for this motor uh, also 2S so uh, should be also quite uh, efficient because of the taller stator uh, should draw lower amps uh, for the same amount of power as the 1106's so we'll see that comparison between the two stator heights so that's going to be pretty good once I test both of these so I'll test the 1108s first of course because those kind of seem interesting I haven't had a 1108 uh, on the stand yet uh, so it's gonna be interesting to see how it uh, performs with the 3 inch props on 3S so pretty typical construction on the motor pretty standard a standard base uh, nothing fancy there uh, just your standard one and a half millimeter uh, shaft and the uh, wires are about 90 millimeters in length should be enough to reach any center mounted ESC so let's see what uh, what this motor weighs with this much wire so that comes in at uh, 8.9 grams so of course it's going to be slightly heavier than the 1106's this has thinner wire so 6.8 for the 1106 so that gives you a, more or less a comparison between the two motors as far as weight I've taken off the C-clip so let's take it apart and we'll look at it under the magnifying glass alright so here's the stator let's have a measurement on the stator height uh, yeah that's a nominal 8 millimeters looks like single strand wire and that's a one and a half millimeter shaft nothing fancy just pretty much a standard 1106 construction shaft is uh, just uh, pressed in pretty pretty tall stator you can see it so let's put it together and uh, let's see what the motor can do on the thrust end
Alright, so let's have a quick look at the thrust test results for the RC in power G1108 6800 kV. As we saw, the motor came in at 7080 kV as measured by the thrust stand. For these small motors and high kV, the thrust stand gets a little bit uh, quirky and it may not read accurately, but I think that's pretty close measurement. So I went ahead and tested on 2S and 3S. Uh, I thought those were the appropriate voltages for these kV. So with the usual props, 2 inch to 3 inch props on this motor. So I was pretty curious to see how the taller stator would perform on these voltages. This is the first uh, 8 millimeter stator that I test for the 11 millimeter diameter stators. And it's doing quite well. Very good performance out of this motor. It's the first one that breaks the 500 gram mark as you've seen here with the 3 inch prop. Amps are pretty manageable I think uh, even though they may look quite uh, high here. Keep in mind that uh, this is static so once we get in the air uh, that's going to come down quite a lot and it's also going to be dictated by the lipo that you're using so the lipo is going to be the limiting factor so whatever the lipo can deliver that's that's what's going to be the uh, the amps four motors on a small lipo you know a six to eight hundred milliamp lipo there's no way they're going to be able to draw that much amps so the lipo is going to be the limiting factor and also the propellers, whatever propeller you use and as it unloads in the air should be a good option for freestyle on this motor. It's going to be interesting to see how people use this motor. So overall pretty good performance out of this motor. It's really worth a look. Looking at the thrust results uh, looks to be a pretty good performer so let's see how people use it. Alright, thank you for watching and until the next video.